the formidable robot. Jesus Christ. After a swift recovery, I plugged the next hard drive into the burner laptop. Nowhere Man, based on the song with the same name from the Yellow Submarine album, and one of my personal favorite animated Beatles movie of the same name. In this one had two files, I'm not Ringo.png, and Nowhere Man.mp4. The picture was Ringo, drawn in an animated style, sitting in a chair with a looming figure hovering over him. I realized that opening the PNG file in a text program revealed a secret link. Clicking on it downloads Paul and Ringo.mp3. Upon clicking it, another transcript played. To save time and effort, the transcript was about Paul and Ringo chatting about this weird figure named Nowhere Man, and how they can influence it in their song. But Paul seems on the offense but doesn't object. What the fuck? Suddenly Nowhere Man.mp4 opened by itself, almost like a virus. It started with the Beatles sitting on chairs near a black and white pepperland, the location of the animated movie. Anyway, I am not providing voice clips from the movie, cuz fuck it. Say Ringo, do ya think we shouldn't have sung about that man? Paul said. Ringo shook his head. I don't think so. The Nowhere Man was just a man, a man with nothing about him. The group stayed silent. Then it's heard. Foomp. 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 Um, guys? Paul said as the looming figure of the Nowhere Man was present. The figure let out an evil cackle before charging. Everyone exchanged screams and yelps as the group ran through a cave. We'll need to take a break. John panted. Yeah. Paul exclaimed. I think we'll need to take some shortcuts. Everyone else nodded silently before the group explored the cave. During the time, a website was referenced near the cave paintings. Painted in light blue was the address. www.apple records is a lie, the fab for faulties. More like Apple is a lie, and Microsoft is always the truth. I typed the website and came across another part of the video. The video stops and the next one on the website plays. But just as soon as it loaded, the entire browser crashed. Damn it. Well, I tried to run the website in multiple browsers, multiple platforms, even some obscure platforms. Most, if not, all of the browsers crashed, frozen up the PC completely or in some cases, corrupted Windows and Linux systems entirely. Well, what about Mac systems? Dead end once again. I contacted my boss and told him about the roadblock. The boss said that if it's the case, he'll send me an exe file for something called, sonic.exe, um, I mean, the well. A dark web application kept a secret for the entire internet history with only most hackers and the police acquiring it. After explaining to the cops about why we need the application, they allowed us to use it on the condition of using their VPN service. No problem. We got the entire studio hooked up with the VPN services and even had most of the officers hired as forensic archivists for the risque bits and pieces of the ARG as ramming goons. For now, we are stuck on another roadblock until we can reach a gold mine. I'll update later with another part. The next part will continue from the last one and then continue the story. Till then, I'm gonna go outside. Get fun by video.